So someone, someone, not, not always, just somebody says to me, you know, this is a while back, uh, don't post so much video about the property, the Panda property there, just outside Williams, Arizona, up there in the high elevation desert. And <laughs> don't, Kemo Dave, you, you keep posting videos about the property. You're letting everybody know where the property is. Uh, and, and anyway, here's Aja, a new video from her, and this is a whole tour of the property, okay? The whole tour of it. The, the previous video, she showed her dry, driving her right up to it, and then, uh, you know, because she was out traveling for a good chunk of the later part of the summer, early fall, and uh, and then she uh, now, you know, this is, this is a couple weeks ago, obviously, because... Uh, uh, the panda, the property guy, what's his name? Fred. Fred and his wife got, had celebrated their anniversary and all that. And uh, they had a big party there and a whole bunch of people showed up. And uh, anyway, so. Uh, and, and then Panda Raja shows us the property. Yeah, really? They got a big shower they're working on. Uh, they got uh, gardening stuff. They got a little, there they are. There's, there's, you know, anyway, they're all, you know, they got a little stage there where they can dance and preach and whatever they do and <laughs> campaign. <laughs> I don't know, man. You can have weddings there. You can have, uh, I don't know. You could do bap baptisms. You could do the whole thing. You know, you could have the whole. It's a whole big communal area there. There's the shower. See, and uh, you know they want to. Aja wants to replace that because it's wood, but that's the heater sits there, and then I guess it plugs into the water, so you can get take a hot shower there and. Really cool, very nice, and they've got you know the big storage trailer thingy there, you know, and they and and they got the old panda vehicle there, and they got campsites there, and and oh, I was just busy planting lots and lots of stuff there, and uh, yeah, there's you know fit, you know they got the roads named, they got Camo Dave Boulevard there, you know anything, you know I don't know, so so we got a nice tour. Of, it's a nice place. It's a nice place. People come there, but please. <laughs> You do want to show up there, get per get written, notarized permission before you show up. So anyway, so anyway, um, uh, I was just gradually catching up with the. Uh, there we go. There's a nice shot of the crowd there. And now the next weekend, I believe, is when they had the big panda birthday party. So that was, I think, an even bigger event. But anyway, there's a lot of rain there. It's been quite a, a damp, uh, you know, monsoonal flow. That's what they get up there in in um, Arizona. Uh, late summer, early fall. Anyway, so Aja is gradually catching up with her videos, which are very much out of date, because we've heard all about this party in previous videos, but uh, she is catching up. So anyway, bad weather did not ruin it. Nope. Uh, we got Maddie Van Halen, who is now in the Lake Havasu area there. He has been traveling all the way, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, you know, making his way across the country, further and further west. How far west? Will he go? I don't know. <laughs> Is he heading to California? I don't know. We'll see. I've got a good one here from Adventure Bandits, the benefits of living at an RV park. Again, you know, we do have the nomads kind of divided. Some people like to stay at RV parks. You know, we do have amenities like, you know, putt-putt golf and, you know, some bathroom facilities and, and shower facilities and and laundry facilities, and sometimes a pool. Uh, but, you know, you got other people around, there's more noise, there's stuff like that. Whereas if you're boondocking, you know, you kind of do what you want to do where you want to do it. And plus, of course, RV parks do charge fees, right? Ay, 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 ay. Hey, we got Dog Cat Van Man, Dog Cat Man Van bought a new vehicle, bought a new, bought a new, um, bought a new, um, bought a new, um, what do you call it? A van. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Dave's RV life keeps teasing us that he's getting on the road. Uh, he just drove down to Pittsburgh and hung out at some cool uh, kind of a warehouse district. You know, one of those trendy warehouse districts where it used to be like warehouses and factories and now they're putting in posh little shops and stuff like that. Yeah, the strip district. Yeah. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, it's kind of you know, raining and it's, yeah, the weather ain't that great, but a nice little, nice little vignette video there from him. We're waiting for Dave to get back on the road and uh, wherever he's going, I don't know. You know, we do have Lollapalooza coming up this week, the 21st. That's just in three days, so uh, that is down in Abilene, Texas. So I imagine we're going to get a number of uh, nomads heading down for that. Uh, yeah. We already have RV Rebel, RV Rebel Girl there. She's already down there uh, getting ready. She's She got there early. Just <laughs> I'm glad she got there early because she had some uh, tr issues with her trailer. Her trailer uh, axle was all messed up there. And so uh, it was good that she got there early because, uh, you know, you know, the trailer had needed more repairs or whatever. She might not have made it, so. Good for her. Some more issues there for Dawn. Dawn of van life with her box truck. The fuel pump is working, but hmm, there's still more issues to take care of. So uh, it's one of those things where it'll never be right, right? When you, you get some of these nomads with vehicles, and you, the part of the content of the vehicles, part of the content of the videos is that it constantly needs to be work, worked on. We got Blue Van Dan gradually making his way south. He is uh, busy building out his big, full-size schoolie there. Uh, he's heading south, uh, left the property there, the Panda property, and I believe he's in, oh gosh, where was it? Some Cottonwood, some earlier Cottonwood, which is kind of, you know, everybody's gravitating uh, that way. Uh, so Blue, Blue Van Dan is, you know, gravitating uh, down to probably the quartzite area where he'll probably spend the entire winter. Because it's warm, right? We should get to meet the baby, baby Sadie, right? I, I was, you know, I'm just, uh, yeah. You get to meet the baby because uh, there, there's their baby. They had just had a baby, so the nomadic movement, get to meet the baby. Yeah, so. Uh, yeah, see, I, my memory, I do little memory tricks. I can remember that kid's name because uh, there's a certain, you know, Carolyn's RV life has a dog named Sadie, so. I just, you know, you do little tricks like that, you know. Uh, and speaking of her, she is up in the uh, Great Lakes area, uh, northern in New York, New York, up in that area there. With, yeah, well, that's the Great Lakes area. That's you know, North New York State and all that. And she's been up there in New England and stuff and shipwrecks. Yes, New England. Yeah, it's all that that area there, you know. Anyway, and uh, of course, you know who Line Screw One did another another video about her. I don't know, man. I don't know. Uh, Story Chasing Amber's also been up in that area, too, up in the New England area, and uh, the weather is turning colder, the leaves are changing, and it's time to head south, you know. What else have I been watching? Diesel Deucey's, I just see a good call him a nomad. He travels all around the country and rides elevators. So he and his buddy there, Jason, are, where are they? In El Paso and Fort Worth. And the one thing uh, Diesel Ducey does now is always show us the hotel rooms, motel rooms that he's staying in. You know, they're just the ordinary $49 a month, you know, quality in La Quinta. And what do they do is they pull back the mattresses and show you all the, you know, what these hotel rooms, they do not, uh, they often do make the beds look very nice, but they don't go uh, pull the mattresses out very often and you know, vacuum and clean whatever's underneath the mattresses, between the mattress and the the box spring and whatever, whatever, and uh, they find lots of nasty stuff down there. Sometimes bugs and hairs and ew, it's gross. And you know, anyway, too much information, but uh, always enjoyed Mr. Ducey. Um, this is a good one. Noel Phillips, one of my favorite plane riding guys, goes up to uh, Montreal, Canada, and he goes up to these little towns way up near Hudson's Bay there. And he gets to ride one of these Boeing 737-200 combis. Well, old Boeing. It's an old 737 that, but it's made to ride on, it's made to take off on gravel runways. And there are a lot of gravel one gravel, say that fast, gravel, run, gravel runways, gravel runways, real, anyway, anyway, it's an older plane and it's really cool and it's partly a um, freighter. So it's got like areas there for, for boxes and packages and stuff. Anyway, very interesting video there. It's 43 minutes, but it's worth all that. It's, it's worth it to catch. Um, and then he gets, um, then he gets to meet the pilot and, uh, all that other stuff. Very nice video there for, uh, Noel Phillips. Always good stuff. One of my favorite plane riding guys. This is going to Valeria. Valeria there, one of my favorite Russian chicks. 
she and her husband Alex there, they do a lot of renovations of apartments and go shopping at the big box stores in Moscow. You know, they do have like uh, Home Depot type stores and Ikea. They have an Ikea in Moscow too, actually. Anyway, uh, the doggy Sheffy, Sheffield, Sheffy, the Sheffy the dog there has uh, some tumors. They're those, you know, lymph lymphoma tumors big dogs sometimes get, you know. I don't think that it's, I don't think it's um, anything terribly to worry about, but she's very concerned and they're going to probably have them removed because um, Sheffy has trouble walking and he's in some pain. So, but uh, all our best to, uh, you know, you know, it's always good. Again, you know, you know, you know the reason, you know the reason why people watch your channel. And if you are a, you know, she's not really a nomad, although she does do a lot of uh, touristy stuff, or, you know, in that, you know, exploration -y stuff around um, Moscow. But it's always good to have a dog or a really cute, adorable dog or cat in your videos because I'm trying to get a good screenshot of the dog. And I, there we go. There's Sheffy. Sheffy's adorable. And Sheffy can understand her Russian commands. You know, she, she, she speaks pretty good English, by the way. Of course, you know, uh, Valeria there. But, um, you know, the dog understands a Russian dog. It understands you when she does whatever Russian commands it very good with that. So it's a bilingual dog. So anyway, we all love Sheffy now. and We hope Sheffy gets better. This is also a good video here. Here be bar. This guy uh, hangs out with uh, uh, Cash Jordan. He's the real estate guy there in uh, in uh, New York City. And anyway, he's a native New Yorker, but he talks very, very good about a very good video here about the harsh reality of being a YouTuber and being obsessed with your YouTube channel and and how you grow your channel and then you then you become like obsessed with the monetization and the growing you know how many views you're getting and whether you've got the right clickbait and with what topics you're covering and and you you know it's just like an obsession and how you get up in the middle of the night and you pop up on your phone and see how your videos are doing and and then if you get you can't sleep because you know the title's wrong and you need to go in and change it and and then you get obsessed. And then if you, you know, reach a certain plateau, like say you're starting to get 100,000 views of a video, now you get disappointed if your views only get, your next video gets only 80,000 views. And how it's miserable, you can be miserable and obsessed with YouTube. Anyway, good video here. Here be bar. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, he does a lot of New York uh, Manhattan explorations. And he also does some apartment uh, tours and stuff like that, like Cash Jordan, but uh, I always enjoy his stuff, so uh, go watch him and give him some views, And uh, but it is stressful. It's very stressful to be a content creator on YouTube. Uh, I also want to shout out to, um, I'm going to shout out to um, Tazmod because he recommended this channel, Blan Cor Corleo, Corleo, Cor Blan Corleo. Uh, this is a real good guy. He does some very good um, uh, reviews of what happened, you know, it's investigations of why planes go down. This was that Cessna crash there in uh, in uh, near San Diego back a couple of a week or so ago, and what happened there. It was really sad. It, it, ran, it crashed right into a residential area and, and a lot of injuries, and the pilot was uh, obviously killed. But it, he was just he was a uh, a, a, a surgeon or something flying from Yuma in Arizona, which a lot of nomads go to, over to uh, San Diego where he lives. I, that was his commute. He, and he did that regularly. And so, you know, he'd be very familiar with the flight, but something happened that uh, caused this crash. And a very interesting review here of what happened there from Blanc Corillo. Corillo. C O R I. C O L I R I O, Blan Corillo. So check that out, and uh, and more more of good old Scotty Kilmer. Again, one of these days I gotta take uh, my uh, little Adam vehicle over to to where is he? Uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Now, which is you know, that's not as close as you think. Tennessee's a big, long, wide state, but that's probably like a five or six hour drive. But anyway from here. Anyway, I got to go get him to uh, give, give me a uh, mechanical review of my car. <laughs> Always Scotty Kilmer and his clickbait. He's about as bad as, uh, he's, you know, he does the clickbait thing just like uh, off-grid uh, Rob does. Anyway, uh, that ought to do it for a quick one. It's not as quick as I thought it would be.
uh, review uh, video for the uh, Monday the 18th of 2021. Again, everybody, well, most, not everybody, but a lot of people will be heading out to Abilene, Texas this week for the Lollapalooza event. Camo Dave, Papa Texas breakfast, Saturday, October 23rd. So don't forget about that. And uh, blah, 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 blah. I'd like to thank everybody that was on my uh, chats over the weekend. Ether Bunny, uh, Rick, Sh Shemay as always, Fantastic Journey, Ho Homesteader Lane, Taylor, Sunny Girl, Rockford, Ether Bunny, uh, Brenda, and uh, all and Ox. Ox was there. Ox! Hi, Ox. All right, folks, thanks for watching. You have a wonderful rest of your Monday. We'll see you later, Gator. Vlog under.